Doom's 30th anniversary was just a few days ago, and we have so much great new content to go over. Today we'll be discussing an official id Software developer update from Hugo Martin and Marty Stratton, a new Doom-themed expansion for Classic Quake, the upcoming console ports of Sigil 2, small updates for both Mighty Doom and Doom Eternal, and some amazing community content like the sequel to Ev Eternity, an incredibly popular Doom mod that released in 2018. It's been quite a while since we've heard from id Software, but that changed on December 10th when they released a one minute long video across the Doom social media accounts thanking the community and congratulating developers for 30 whole years of demon slaying. At the end of the video, they introduced hashtag Doom30, which you can use when sharing your experiences, fan art, and collectibles from a franchise. The new hashtag will also play a role in an upcoming event on the official Doom Discord server, where they'll be giving away 30 pieces of Doom merchandise later this week. Yesterday, they released a surprise episode of a new Slayer's Club live series. Hugo and Marty both return to discuss the Doom franchise and reveal some more celebratory content for the community to enjoy. During the episode, they did mention that they now have a dedicated streaming room for hosting these live streams, which implies that we'll be seeing a lot more Hugo and Josh streams in the near future, likely after they reveal their next project. The first reveal of yesterday's stream came in the form of a Steam Avatar pack. You can get these items for free by watching 10 minutes of the Slayer Club episode on Eternal Steam page from now until December 18th. They also revealed this new plush Daisy statue. I'll leave a link in the description so you can head on over to the Bethesda Gear Store and get yours for only 70 US dollars. It can be displayed as both a regular plush and a statue. It's a pretty cool collectible. A new expansion for the original Quake Remaster was both revealed and released during the stream. Q Doom is a free add-on that lets you play through the first episode of the original Doom in a truly 3D environment. It is actually really fun to play through, and I would recommend giving it a try if you have a remaster. You can access it through the add-ons menu right now. There's still nothing new for the Quake 2 remaster, but I'm sure we'll get more content in early 2024. While we're on the topic of add-ons, it seems like they're currently making efforts to bring John Romero's Sigil 2 onto the official Bethesda versions of the classic games. Community manager Joshua Boyle briefly suggested that the newly released expansion would be making its way over to consoles sometime in the near future, which isn't all that surprising. You can actually play Sigil 2 right now if you have a PC, I'll leave a link to the download in the description. You could also buy the special edition that includes a download for the full soundtrack, it costs around 7 US dollars and can be purchased using the same link. Along with the kind words of a new content, they've also released this really cool desktop wallpaper featuring the Slayer jumping out of a new Doom Anniversary logo. This wallpaper looks nice as hell, the colors really pop and it reminds me of the 25th anniversary wallpaper they released back in 2018, they really know how to make a good celebratory desktop background. While doing some research, I was also able to find this unused promo image from Eternal. I'll leave a link to both images in the description so you can have more options for your background. The second image was actually made by Petrol Advertising, which is the company that made the highly controversial Doom Eternal launch trailer that used generic music instead of Mick Gordon's OST, but they also created the 25th anniversary wallpaper, so we'll call it even. The Slayers Club website finally received another update after yesterday's stream was over. They've added new sections for the most recent news, upcoming merch, and downloadable media like the new wallpaper. It was confirmed that the club will be getting even more updates relatively soon. I'm personally hoping it relates to the new exclusive community content they promised, but I have a feeling that won't show up until their next project gets announced. They skipped the Game Awards and decided to focus more on the community for the anniversary, which means that our next chance to see a big reveal will be at the 2024 Xbox Mothesda Summer Showcase, but I'm sure most of us weren't expecting anything this year, so that's honestly completely reasonable. We did actually get some smaller Doom updates alongside all of the incredibly impressive community content, like the Winter Mega Event for Doom Eternal that will be running from tomorrow until March of 2024. This seasonal Mega Event includes the Samurai, Peachy Keen, and Christmas 2020 cosmetics. You can unlock all of those rewards for free if you're still interested. Mighty Doom actually has its own unique way of celebrating the franchise's latest accomplishment. They have a new limited time 30th anniversary event that will last from now until December 17th at 12pm Eastern Time. The skirmish event level can be played once every hour and doesn't cost energy, so you can play as much as you'd like and get a really solid resource boost. They've also released their own version of the Santa Slayer, and it honestly looks better than Eternal's version. It has some nice additional details that the original Santa Slayer completely lacks, and the black variation looks great, although the unique ability apparently isn't anything special. You can own this mini Slayer for only 10 US dollars, but you better act fast since it will permanently leave the shop after the season ends on December 31st. Some of the best content to come from the franchise's 30th anniversary was Eve Eternity 2, a brand new 36 map megawad that looks absolutely incredible. I'm actually not too familiar with Doom modding, and even I've heard of the original megawad. The gameplay from the sequel looks very impressive and may just be able to finally get me to start modding. A few pictures of the levels should be on screen now. This may not actually be all that impressive, but these look incredible to someone that's never really experienced what the modding community can do. I'll leave a link to Eve Eternity 2 in the description along with everything else. It looks like it's worth a try. 
It's definitely great to get all of this amazing Doom content, but it is kind of sad once you realize the franchise will likely become Xbox exclusive going forward. As it currently stands, every Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein game will be exclusive. Click on the video that's on screen now to learn more. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's pretty much all that I have for now, though. Until next time.